I can feel it now. Okay, I'm gonna change it to four room now. Okay, okay. Um, we got a four room now. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. It's Mr. Explore 365, and we are live in Nairobi, Kenya. Check it out. You took? Okay. Eddie, Eddie, me big you buy. I'm still to come tell Eddie again. Eddie, 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 hey Eddie. I'm big you buy. Good Eddie. Good Eddie. Eddie, hey Eddie. Good Eddie. Good Eddie. Hey, I talk to you. Hey Eddie. What's up, Eddie? Good Eddie. Hey Eddie. <laughs> hey Eddie. <laughs> Eddie pretty big. Yeah, he is. Let me get one. Let me get one of yours. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Not yourself, yeah. Alex. Right. Yeah. There you go. Eddie. 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 Like what? Like this. That, that's what I did, but I did. Oh, you did? I, not in the phone. <laughs> no, I did oh, it like this. Okay. Your turn. You're good. You're good. Sure. Eddie. Nice to be the Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel, it's Mr. Explore 365 and you are live here in Nairobi, Kenya and what we are looking at is the elephants, check us out, baby elephants. The baby was rescued from many forests which is found in Mary. Identified by some villagers who happen to have been in this forest and came across a three-month-old baby elephant all along, something that is not normal and not safe for the baby all along. And that's why we were conducted to help rescue her. 
joining the men in the water hall is Shija, who is about three years old, who was rescued from South for East National Park, who was found stuck in a drying water hall due to the drought. And that is why we had to rescue Shuja. Shuja braved the whole night, stuck in the mud, all alone. And that's why we named him Shuja, which is Swahili for a hero. Behind Shuja, trying to get into the water hall, is an elephant by the name Kadama, who is about 15 months, was rescued from the Masai Mara, who was found standing next to the dead body of the mother. The mother was died from a natural disease. His mother had a big wound on the back, which is believed to have caused her death. But the baby found very thin and weak, all alone, next to the dead body of the mother. That's why we rescued Kadama. The bigger one at the edge of the water hole behind Kadama is now looking with the name Kirio, who also happens to be the little mini Metria or the mother figure or the leader of this group of 10 elephants. And Kirio was rescued from Kirio Valley. She's only two and a half years. She was rescued from Kirio Valley, which is found within the Rift Valley, and being specific in West Papua. She was identified by the rangers lying down within the park. The rangers searched for her mother the whole day, but they could not find any. And they could not tell why the baby was all alone at that young age of about six months. So that's why we were productive to have to raise the heart. When she arrived in the nursery, when we discovered that both her hind legs were paralyzed, she could not make any steps. She was only dragging both the hind legs on the ground, and we could not tell what had caused the paralysis. And so we had to give her some time doing a lot of massage every day. And after some time, she started to improve and started to make some little steps. And since then, she's getting stronger every day. Lastly, swinging the trunk. An elephant by the name Camille at the age of the water hole. Camille is approximately three years old but small in size compared to her age. Camille was rescued from uh, Sava Conservation Area and she was found just collapsed on the ground. Very much dehydrated and emaciated, looking like a skeleton. But I say this because she only had skin and bone left in her for having stayed for a very long time without food and without water. And so she was starving today. She's one of the miracle babies that we managed to save, and she's doing well in the last few moment. When we go to the long period of power, female elephants that have got young ones do suffer a lot. This is because the mothers are not getting. Hello, ladies no and gentlemen, water. and welcome to the, the channel. It's Mr. Explorer 365. In the long run, and we are live in most here cases, in Nairobi, Kenya. And end guess what? Back. It's going down. Check it out. out. After the mother has died, we bring in some of the, the babies will decide to stay next to the dead body of the mother. Some of the babies and will decide Alpha. to walk away, look for food, Please look for help, sure look like, for comfort. Share, and subscribe that person to the walking channel. away, you might be unlucky and encounter the big cat, you might end up killing them. You might be unlucky and end up just and dying out there all alone. A few are found very lucky, end up being identified still alive, those are the ones we end up rescuing. And that was the case of Camille. That's why she's with us now. That makes a total of uh, 10 elephants in the first group. After some time, all the 10 will walk away so that we can get in another group of 11 slightly older than what you can see now. Generally, different reasons, of course, for the babies to be left open, but human wildlife conflict is the first major reason. The last post in this post is most of to be left open. Human wildlife conflict is a big problem in our country. This is a problem because there is always an increase in the population of human beings compared to the first society life. And this has caused human beings to occupy areas that originally belonged to wild animals, causing conflicts every now and then between the two. And that is why. Buffer zones along the parks and the conservation areas have been occupied by farmers and people are doing farming next to the park which makes the animals get attracted by crops in the long run, causing conflicts between the two. And that is why migratory routes of wild animals are no longer existing for these areas have been occupied by human beings and people are doing lots of developments along these areas. 
constructions of houses and roads and shopping centers and still farming taking place. And if the animals want to move from one path to the other in search for greener pasture and water using their old roots, they are not able to do it. They find these areas already occupied. The owners will want to chase them, find them away. During that process of running up and down, sometimes the mother might end up being killed and they'll be left alone. Or sometimes the baby and the mother are separated from one another. Nobody knows where the other one went. Later on, if the baby is found still alive, nobody knows where the mother is, we are conducted and have to fly out immediately to go and help rescue them. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel, it's Mr. So Explorer 365 and we are live here in Nairobi, Kenya and it's going down. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Yes, because we're bringing you the latest and the greatest. That's supposed to feel this to be left open. And I say a few of them because for the last few years, the trend of poaching in Kenya has dropped, which is a good sign. We the hope, pray and believe that the drop continues until there will be no more poaching in the long run. But unfortunately, a few of them came in because the mothers were killed and the tasks were taken off from them. I say unfortunately because the act of poaching is being perfected by we human beings. And yet, it is our role as human beings to care and protect for these animals. As human beings, we fail in our role by causing them to be left open. That's because we are interested in the ivory. And an elephant ivory adds no value to human life. And so that is why I would like to ask all of you who are here today to help stop poaching. And you can help stop poaching if you want. This is right from your home and right from your country. And I say this because the end products from ivory are being sold from all over the world. So right from your home, you can help make a change by ensuring that you don't buy anything that comes from ivory or from the rhino horn. By ensuring that you spread the word, all your friends and relatives and colleagues, not to buy anything that comes from my belong from the rhino horn. If we all did that, right from the comfort of our homes, we will have ensured that the poachers don't have a market. Once they don't have a market, we won't see the need to continue telling the elephant because we don't have a place to sell the ivory. It means the population of elephants will continue to increase, which will really be great. So that is why ivory poaching is one of the reasons that are supposed to feel them to be left open and therefore brought here in the nursery. Some of the babies were found falling down wells, falling down manholes, weren't stuck in the mud, 